of being in high school were of impersonating Mick Jagger and being in plays and doing little performance things here and there that I did. So th there is a little bit of a performance bug in me and I like being in the World Naked Bike Ride and the, the Summer Solstice pr and do music and stuff and then I just I don't fully do it and at least I do you know this video thingy Mick Jagger. Um, I'm going to be working with a life coach very soon. This woman um, offered to work with me and we're doing um, you know she worked out a deal with me because I really can't afford it so we've got a special deal going with that and um, I'm really grateful that that she's committed to working with me for three months I've done tons of therapy you know I've been in and out of therapy since I was in my early 20s um, learned a lot probably have done as much as I can with therapy in, in my opinion so far so this whole life coach thing is a new thing this is she's more, not really a therapist she's more about achieving goals and figuring out what I what you know the her clients what I what do I really want what does Shannon Kringen really want who's the real Shannon and she wants to help me get back in alignment with my true authentic self I like to say authentic ejaculation of my soul molten orange liquid glow meaning if you're truly in touch with yourself I know the word ejaculation might offend some people but what I mean by that is not pornography what I mean by that is to be really excited and to release to to really indulge in yourself it's kind of like having an orgasm it's like it feels it's it's like it, it's like an eruption of energy it's like this good feeling of expressing yourself and it's passionate and it's sensual and it's like um, being your real self it's like you, you can be high from that a lot of people think I do drugs I don't I don't do drugs I don't I've only been drunk once I hated it um, I ate hash once in Amsterdam hated that but I needed to try it and in high school I never did mushrooms I didn't like smoking pot I still don't like I don't like it so I don't really do drugs I do actually think drugs should be legal but I don't do drugs myself and uh, to me I get high from art music poetry uh, sensuality personal relationships that I've had where I've had a lot of sensual romantic energy that's kind of a natural high um, listening to music you know being around animals and plants doing things you love you know exercising actually is the best natural high you can get you know endorphins endorphins from making love with somebody that you love um, and endorphins from exercise riding your bike and running and swimming and hiking and doing all the fun activities that you can do and so yeah so authentic ejaculation of my soul molten orange liquid glow and so it's like moonlight on snow Dylan-esque romantic glow it's like out of the mediocrity you know let me tell you about repression and the loss of soul wandering wandering in a hopeless black hole synchronicity appears to disappear that's more Kring speak so I think to be passionately yourself is sort of a natural high place to be. So I hope that with this life coach, uh, I, I just today, I just faxed her 12 pages. She had this huge questionnaire for me to answer about what my values are, what I like about myself, what I think my strengths and weaknesses are, what I want out of life. Um, she let me indulge in writing down a list of all the people that I have anger towards or resentments towards that I feel like I need to forgive. And she said, even people that you think you've already forgiven. And she said, organizations, people, places, things, circumstances, just, just spew it all out what you're angry about. And uh, I mentioned, um, famous people because it's like I've always wanted to be famous and it's embarrassing to say that but what I mean by that is I've always wanted to create something and then put it out in the mass media I've always wanted to connect with some kind of audience I've always wanted to you know sing and dance and create art and and or or just share um, inspirational monologues and uh, philosophy and I've always wanted to do that um, and I've always really admired actors and singers and dancers and book authors and people that travel around the world and 
promote their books, their music, their acting, you know, express themselves, um, lots of interesting musicians and actors that I admire. And at the same time, I've always been partly inspired by them and partly very envious of them. And I waste actually a lot of energy feeling jealous and envious of famous people. And not just famous people, but even just local Seattle people that are making their full living from their music or their acting or their singing or their dancing or writing or just, you know, any kind of creative people. It's like, I'm very inspired and I, ooh, I want to find out what the formula for success is. And then at the same time, I also feel really envious and jealous or I live vicariously through them. And so, which isn't good either. It's like, it's great to like imagine what it might be like to be this other kind of person, you know, that I'm not. And it's kind of fun to try that on. Actors kind of get to, you know, actors actually get to kind of do that, you know, try on other people's personas, characters, personalities, etc. And that's pretty cool. Um, but to take it too far to the point where I don't even enjoy being Shannon Kringen, you know, that's really sad to me. And most of the people I admire tend to be famous. You know, they tend to be people that create something and then they project it out in the media in some way or with an audience or on stage or they write a book and it's mass produced and stuff like that. So I've always had this desire to reach out, you know, to what is beyond myself. And then I, I also have what I, what I would call the librarian aspect of myself, you see. The librarian. See, here I am. Ooh, you know. The wild primal goddess Kring, goddess Kring, goddess Kring, goddess Kring. The magical wizard of Oz, goddess Kring. And then the Shannon Kringen librarian, which is sort of like the little man behind the curtain, as opposed to the wizard of Oz. Then there is the Shannon Kringen regular person um, who likes to go to the library, who likes to hang out with her cats, who likes to... Um, be with plants and animals and read a book and go for a walk and go camping and hiking and 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 just like read books and just be quiet and anonymous and hang out in the park and just be with trees um, and then the, the more flamboyant part of me that wants to be on stage and sort of amplify and project you know paint myself and wear a costume and makeup and and create something beautiful and magical and romantic and sensual and artistic and um, captivate an audience um, and then there's the part of me that's kind of crying out for help and is really self-indulgent so you know the drama queen in me you know that, cre that creates a lot of drama and maybe exaggerates what's really going on with me and really wants attention and it can never feel like she gets enough attention and wants to be validated or wants to argue with people and debate with people and, and get attention and, cr and stir things up and get things started another thing i've been doing once again my name is shannon kringen you're watching goddess kring and uh this is a uh, improvisational uh thingy Mick Jagger here. Um, I have been working, I'm working, oh, I'm going to start working with a life coach and I've been going to these meetings. I belong to a website for creative entrepreneur, uh, people in business for themselves kind of a thing and they've been having meetings at really cool, interesting nonprofit coffee shops around Seattle. Excuse me. And I've been going to meetings, really interesting meetings and learning about um, being a powerful person, being um, learning actually about WordPress and how to make a better website with, with different WordPressy kind of things, and um, free like open source software kind of stuff. And um, when I go to these meetings, you know, we all sit around in a circle and we share what our names are and what our businesses are. And I tend to kind of put myself down a little bit and a little shy, but you know, at least I show up and I share and I just say whatever's there. And I went to one about turning your faults into fertilizer, which struck a chord in me because I used to have a show on TV called Fertilizer. And it was kind of all about that, about how life can really be really painful and your shadow and all this kind of stuff and how you can turn all that stinky gunk, you know, into fertilizer, you know, the fertilizer of life, the, the um, icky stuff that you want to flush down the toilet of life, you know, is yuck you know it's painful it's 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 stinky and painful and gross but you can turn it into fertilizer and grow a really nice garden with it